Once you've selected an article, it's going to look one of two ways. This is the first way it's going to look, which is just the, the text of the article. The title is at the top. You can see that you can change the font size and you can even click on this and it will read the article to you. Here you can save this to your Google Drive or your Microsoft OneDrive. You can email it or save it to the computer that you're on or print it out. If you're going to share this with someone by emailing it or emailing it to yourself or to your instructor or classmate, use this link here or up here at the top where it says send to, you'll use that. If you come up to the address bar and what is that? Right click on the address bar and then copy and paste that. That is tied to this session, so it's not going to work. Be sure you use either the send to button here or the email button here down towards the middle to, to share this. At the top, you can send to, download, print, get a link, highlight it, and you can cite. If you click on the citation button there, it will pull up another window. And in that window, it will show you MLA and APA methods of citation. The other way that an article can look is like this. This is the actual document image from the book that it was in. You see it's highlighted with blue here. And you can go to the next page. And it'll still be highlighted with blue. If you have trouble reading this or if you want the um, if you want to see the actual item you can click on plain text OCR and then you can see it over on that side so if you don't want to see the actual item there is the text the plain text and you can click on listen you can view a full citation and it'll give you all the information that you need to cite this but up here at the top you've still got cite and send to and download and print. That's how you get around the articles within Gal Literature Resources.